Now you may have seen the previous video from a few years back on ankle sprains. Well this is the third video in a brand new up to date help video series on ankle sprains. So stay tuned to all the videos to find out how to treat your ankle sprain from day one all the way back to full fitness. This video is covering how to diagnose an ankle sprain and how to tell if it is fractured, broken or not. So how do you diagnose a lateral ankle sprain? According to Pulsar et al. 2012, the way that you injured it is important to understand what injury you have sustained. This is called the mechanism of injury. To injure the lateral ligaments, you usually need to invert the ankle forcefully in a weight-bearing state. In 77-99% to of cases, x-rays are taken, according to Cameron and Naylor, 1999. Although only 9-15% to of cases have actually fractured the ankle or foot, according to Keogh et al. 1998. So most of the time an x-ray will be negative for a fracture. So there is something called the Ottawa Ankle Rule, or the Ottawa Foot Rule, which was devised by Steele et al. on various years. The aim of this is to avoid unnecessary x-rays. So what is the Ottawa Ankle Rule? An ankle x-ray is only required if there is pain in the malleolar zone and any one of the following. 1. Bone tenderness along the distal 6 cm of the posterior edge of the tibia or tip of the medial malleolus. 2. Bone tenderness along the distal 6 cm of the posterior edge of the fibula or the tip of the lateral malleolus. 3. An inability to bear weight both immediately and in the emergency department for 4 steps. So what is the Ottawa foot rule? A foot x-ray is only needed if there is pain in the midfoot zone and any one of the following. 1. Bone tenderness at the base of the fifth metatarsal. 2. Bone tenderness at the navicular bone. 3. An inability to weight bear both immediately and in the emergency department for four steps. Once you rule out a fracture with or without an x-ray, then the symptoms will help a lot with the diagnosis of what the soft tissue injury is and the severity of it. Symptoms of a sprain typically include pain around the affected joint, tenderness, swelling, bruising, functional loss, for example pain on weight bearing, and mechanical instability, mainly if the sprain is severe. The severity of symptoms will depend on the severity of the injury. Symptom duration of more than a few days can suggest a more severe injury. Next you need to have a physical examination. Palpation of the ankle for swelling, heat, deformity or postural abnormality. Check for normal sensation in case of damage to nerves or circulation. Check range of motion of the joint. This will be limited and painful. For a lateral ligament sprain, inversion will be the worst motion. According to Puffer 2001, a physio can also perform some orthopedic stress tests to determine the injury further. Examples of this are anterior jaw test of the ankle. If the anterior talofibular ligament is ruptured, which is a grade 3 tear, in 50% of cases a dimple sign can be seen in the anterior aspect of the joint. The Taylor tilt test. This tests the anterior talofibular ligament and the calcaneofibular ligament. A positive stress test with pain on palpation at the site of the ligament and a hematoma have been shown to have a sensitivity of 96% for diagnosing a ruptured ligament. If you are unsure of the diagnosis then you may need to arrange investigations. Investigations commonly used are x-rays, x-rays to rule out fracture if indicated, you cannot diagnose the sprain directly with this however, diagnostic ultrasound, so diagnostic ultrasound evaluation is strongly dependent on the expertise of the technician and is more commonly used to look at tendons than ligaments, according to Jacobson, 1999. Orthography. Rupture of the anterior talofibular ligament can be diagnosed with a sensitivity of 96 to 100% using orthography. But this technique is invasive, as it involves injecting into the joint. Another issue is that it has no more accuracy than clinical assessment, according to Van Dyke et al. 1999. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. Ruptures of the lateral ligaments of the ankle can be diagnosed on MRI with a sensitivity of 75 to 100 percent, but they are very expensive and only used with more difficult cases, according to Gabler et al. 1997. 
So remember to subscribe to the channel and check out the next videos in the series which will take you through everything you need to know about your ankle sprain and how to get back to full fitness and sport as quickly and easily as possible. We want to keep making great content for our subscribers, so if anyone would like to support the channel by making a pledge, then we would be extremely grateful, and you can do this on our Patreon page here.